Women's college water polo season is in full swing, and we go back to Dare to Dream for some splash ball fun, all coming up on a brand new counterattack. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the counterattack. We get things started with women's college water polo, a whole host of teams kicking off their season this past weekend. Water Polo Nation was on the scene in Northern California for highlights from a couple of matches. Stanford, the defending champs, back in action, defeating UC Davis 15-3. And San Jose State, topping Cal State East Bay 13-5. Check out a couple of the big plays. Madison Bergeron passes to Hannah Schab. Schab scores to give the Cardinal a 13-3 lead, and Stanford would go on to record two more goals on the way to taking a 15-3 victory over the UC Davis Aggies. The Cal State East Bay Pioneers in the number 15. San Jose State Spartans. Lily Irvari scores with a strong left-handed shot on the power play, and it's 2-0. Moments later, and it's Sheila Jensen again. She takes the pass from Taylor Peters, beats the opposing keeper, and scores. East Bay would get two more before the final buzzer, but it wouldn't be enough. The San Jose State Spartans take their home opener 13-5. That takes us into our Cap 7 college scoreboard. Close one between ASU and Michigan. Sun Devils get the win 5-3. Marist ventured out to Hawaii, and the Rainbow Wahine greet them with a 20-7 victory. Cal Bears also in Hawaii, defeating LMU 12-2. And Fresno State getting their first official win in program history. They defeat Cal State Northridge 10-9. Now we take a look at our USA Water Polo National Collegiate Rankings powered by the Freeman Rating System. Important note, only teams with at least three games played are rated. For example, Stanford has only played one game. They are not yet rated. Here's what we have. Number one, Arizona State. Then Cal, UCLA, Michigan, Hawaii, UC Santa Barbara, UC San Diego, Northridge, LMU, and Cal Baptist. More teams will play more games next weekend. Expect these rankings to change. High school action now via Fox Sports San Diego. Two of the top girls high school teams in the area, Bishops and Cathedral Catholic meeting. A couple of looks here at some goals from this matchup from last week. In the end, a 7-3 win for Cathedral. Last week, we told you about the Dare to Dream 10 and Under Festival as part of that weekend of free splash ball clinic featuring Jesse Smith and Janai Kerr. Here's a quick look back. I played splash ball before and it's really fun. We're gonna swim with the Olympians, um, play fun games, and yeah, have some fun. This week, we're visiting programs on the East Coast. We'll be making stops in Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Make sure you follow USA Water Polo on social media at USAWP to check out where we will be this week. And we'll have more coverage from our stops in coming episodes of The Counterattack. Now we close things out as we do every week with our social media send-off, the best of water polo on the Internet. Stay involved. Use the hashtag counterattack and we start with the journey of andrew from ohio showing that hard work does pay off from the club scene to playing professionally in new zealand and now hanging out with five-time olympian tony azevedo well done andrew shieldy made a new friend leroy the dog showing the love here from laverne head coach pat beamer hopefully shieldy was gently put down after leroy was done showing some love maggie steffens couldn't make it to receive her top 10 award brother charlie did the job to fill in Congrats, Maggie. We love the support from our friends at Clean Athlete. Kaylee Gilchrist dropped by the Orlando Thunder practice while on a recent trip to Florida. That had to make everyone's day in the Sunshine State. Great story on Dominic Vecino, the former Air Force water polo captain who saved three lives in Miramar Beach, Florida last year. Awarded a medal, deservedly so. Congrats, Dominic. Probably the best water polo photo last week. Six-year-old Adelaide at Dare to Dream, just flexing on him. Good stuff here from Adelaide, enjoying her time at Dare to Dream. And lastly, potential rule changes to college water polo. This had lots of opinions generated online. The potential rules on simulations for offensive players, you lose possession, defensive players, and exclusion. What do you think? Let us know in the comments on Facebook. There were many thoughts, some for, some against. And there you have it, the best of what we saw this week on the internet. Concerning the great game of water polo, we love your submissions. Keep them coming for next week. That'll do it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.